we are getting ready for winter around here, and so um, I like to use this book. Uh, it's called 100 Snowmen, and uh, it's a lesson in um, addition and uh, place value, and I also like to use this after we do a lesson in doubles, um, like 4 plus 4, 6 plus 6, 8 plus 8, um, because this is, this is doing addition of doubles plus 1. So, uh, you know, that's a, a great time to use it is after you do a doubles lesson. Um, so what I use for this is just um, some sort of a counter and to have um, at least 100 of them. More would be great, um, but to have at least 100 because we're going to have 100 snowmen. <laughs> so I read the book first, and it's a really quick book. Um, throughout the book, they're just each one is adding. So we have one and two. So what I would do as I was read as I would read through, I have them take their counters and keep track. So there's one, and then there's going to be there's two on this page. We turn the page, and oh, I don't know if we can get this all in here for you guys. So here we have on this one three more snowmen count the stars at night, and uh, four here. So. Um, you can see the direction we're going in. Uh, basically, you're going to be having them make, keep track uh, through the, uh, the staircase. And don't worry, I won't make this whole thing for you. But uh, keeping track of the snowman as we go along. So eventually, we're going to start going back down. We're going to hit the um, 9 plus 10. And then 9 plus 8, and go down from there, 7 plus 6, all the way down to the end. So they should have this getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and then getting smaller and smaller and smaller. But they should have them all. Before I get to the very last page, I will read the last one where it says, One last snowman calls out to his friends. I don't show them this part because if you add all of them up, you're going to get to 100. So they should have this um, triangle look of all these little counters. And there are going to be a hundred of them. But that's when I ask, um, oh my goodness, how many do we think there are? And if you're paying attention, you know based on the title of the book that it's going to be a hundred. But, you know, it just looks like a lot of them to them. So uh, we talk about different ways that we can um, count them. What's the fast way to do it? We can, we can count by twos, but that's not very fast. We could count by fives. We could count by fives. Maybe try that. Let them explore that. They want to count them by twos. Let them count by twos, um, fives. However, if you can get the rows of 10, you're going to have 10 rows of 10. And we can easily go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, all the way to 100. Um, another one that I do is for the ones that want to count in twos, I will... Um, have after we have the hundred because we've been counting by tens is like ah oh, who wanted to count by twos we can do that now with the ten so we can do 20 40 60 80 100 that's so cool so that there's still a way to count by twos but by counting by tens um so we play around like that have them move these around they should be playing with them they should be making columns they can be doing fives however they do it it's terrific um and then write that down as well on their, on their papers so that they're writing the numbers as well. But, you know, how many different ways can we count this? And, um, and just, you know, play around with it. I, I do the picture books because it's just a, such a nice introduction to math at this age. Um, math is fun. Math should be fun. Math should be viewed as fun. And so um, I do try and cut out the worksheets as much as possible with the little ones. Um, anywhere from K through 2. Uh, and just play with it. They should be touching them. They should be playing with them. So I like this one. It's good for a nice snowy day. Um, and I hope that you enjoy it as well. I will see you next time for another video.